ready? You ready? All right. Now we got our pad done on the four inch side of this metal. So we're gonna flip it over. We got the center already ground down clean, and I marked the exact center. So we got two inches from each side so we can get this on square. Take this, we'll lay it back down. You can clamp it with that big on the plant. Our welder's on, we're already set on the 316 metal that we're welding. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna tack one side of this before we put a weld on it. The first thing we can do, hold it right directly on our marks that we got there. I'm gonna pull a glove off for this so we can use it easier. Got our welding lead, get that ready. So we got our two marks that I made with the soapstone and the tape measure there. So because this has a smooth spot here, we obviously can't use the square on this side, so we're gonna use it on this side here. So we'll line that up on our white mark, and our white mark, and then we'll hold it right square on that piece of metal. We'll hold that square on there. You can even get a friend to hold it if you needed to, but I got her, I think. All right, you wanna line those marks up? that on there, we're going to put a tack right in this corner first. Okay, so we got a tack in that corner. Now just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to check it for squareness across there. So I'll hook that lip on there, check it, so it's pretty much perfectly square on that piece. We'll recheck our square here. We're good. So let's go ahead and we'll put two packs on this back side. Let's pack in that corner. Pack in that corner. So now we're square. So now we can start. I want the bead put on the same side as your bead from your butt weld was. So we'll go ahead and we'll start the bead on this side. So I'll start right on top of that little pack that we did there, and we'll come right across, making sure that we push that heat up to get our weld up onto that T where we want it. I'll put a glove back on here. Have no water hulse. Appreciate that. So now we got our butt weld is here. We have our T weld that kept it straight because we put those two tacks on there, so that kept it nice and square. We have your plasma cut here that I can grade. And then on this side, we have your entire pad that you built. So you can hit this with a grinder or a wire wheel and clean that up a little bit. So that's what we want. That's the project we want turned in when we're done. Thank you.